Sergeant Bruce reporting. The subject of this film is the driver and the law. There's the driver. And here's the law. Right now, our driver's mind is somewhere else. Maybe fishing. Maybe fixing that back porch step. So he violates a trap. The law, in the form of a motorcycle officer, is hired and trained to enforce traffic rules and regulations and to save lives. That's what he's doing right now. There's nothing personal about law enforcement. The officer isn't out to get this driver. He's protecting him and you. This officer doesn't get a commission on the tickets he writes, nor does he have a quota to fill every month. He's interested in only one thing, and for only one reason. Law enforcement for public safety. Your safety and mine. According to Webster, an accident is something that happens unexpectedly. When you saw that driver go through the stop sign, you knew that his chances of having an accident were pretty good. In his case, a smash-up was hardly unexpected. Therefore, it couldn't be called really an accident. Our reports and statistics indicate that nearly all of the so-called accidents are actually caused occurrences and are caused by the violation of traffic rules and regulations. The driver of this car was speeding in traffic. Therefore, it was no surprise that he ended up like this, a caused occurrence. The driver who caused this accident failed to give a pedestrian the right of way. So we can't call it an accident. It was another caused occurrence. If an officer had prevented any of these offenders from breaking the law, these caused occurrences would not have happened. So it boils down to this. Remove the causes, and remove the occurrences, the so-called accidents. Our traffic officers are doing their best, but they need your cooperation. Safe driving is a mental process requiring thought, attention, courtesy, consideration, and a sense of alert responsibility. These young drivers are being taught this along with the physical process involved in manipulating controls. They're acquiring the right attitude, thereby eliminating much of the traffic officer's work, which is at best a negative thing. By that we mean enforcing restrictions that may seem to be an infringement on personal rights. It is no more pleasure for this judge to impose a fine or penalty on the driver than it was for the officer to give him a ticket. But as long as people violate necessary regulations, this work must be done. This driver who is paying for his violation will think twice before he takes another chance, I hope. But there's a positive side to traffic law enforcement. A great deal of careful planning and thought have gone into the regulations enforced for your safety. To get a clear picture of traffic problems, an accident investigation crew gets all possible information at the scene of a wreck. Every clue possible is discovered in order to determine what caused this collision. This information is examined thoroughly by experts, then indexed and cataloged. The complete record is kept for any future reference. An analytical unit breaks down these reports into important statistical facts which are then analyzed, adjusted, and put to work. Perhaps an engineering fault contributed to an accident. In this case, a report is made to the proper authorities so the fault can be checked and corrected. Here, a constant check is kept on the kind and cause of accidents on all streets and highways. If a certain district is getting a higher percentage of accidents than another, then obviously the only sensible thing to do is to cut down violations in that district because violations cause accidents. 
Orders go out for the deployment of motorcycle officers to watch for violators in a necessary effort to cut down the accidents. With their specific orders, these men are hurried to the chosen location and immediately go to work making the streets safer for all. Important, too, in public safety is the release to the press of news events based on the facts revealed by an analysis of accidents. The public must be educated if we're to take advantage of traffic laws written and enforced in the public interest. The men you see enforcing traffic regulations have a job that is sometimes disagreeable and often dangerous. They are protecting your life and property. The laws they enforce are for the same purpose. So if you get a ticket, remember, it is a necessary means of keeping you alert to the dangers of traffic violations. The ticket a driver gets today may save your life tomorrow.